you're going to deal with it. And stop fast forwarding. You know who you are. Stop. Welcome to another video. We are in Texas. World famous, full of patriots down here, but nothing is more patriotic than the patriotic San oh. Patriot Sandwich so Company. <laughs> so this is what I'm gonna be edited. So it's gonna be that live, it's not gonna be. But, but nothing is more patriotic than the Patriot Sandwich Company. We're here for their Fleet Admirals Challenge, and here with David, the owner, and he's here to explain what this is all about, because this looks fantastic. So the Fleet Admiral's Challenge was created to help save my restaurant. I opened up one month before COVID-19 hit. So February 10th was when I opened my doors for our soft openings. February 28th is when I opened up for my grand opening. March 16th, the nation shut down, the world shut down. And we were struggling to try and keep our doors open. So I knew I needed to do something to set myself apart from my competition. I looked around and there weren't any food challenges really in our area that were significant or anything like that. So being a new shop, I decided to go ahead and rise to the challenge, so to speak, and create the Fleet Admiral's Challenge. Since we are a military themed sandwich shop, had to become up with a military name. Now the sandwich combination is called the Shipwreck because it's actually in two different parts. Sandwich one is two pounds, six ounces. Sandwich two is two pounds, seven ounces for a combined weight of four pounds, 13 ounces. There's a 10 ounce container of potato salad, a one ounce bag of chips, two cookies, and a one ounce granola bar. For it, so, or excuse me, seven ounce granola bar. The entire weight of this challenge is five pounds, 10 ounces and these guys have to do it in 45 minutes we've had six people try this challenge and only two people have managed to finish it greg the savage wilson october 19th with 40 minutes five seconds and randy santel atlas with 20 minutes 50 pardon me 52 seconds so we're gonna see what these guys can do but these sandwiches consist of brisket roast beef cheddar turkey, Munster, provolone, and it's encased with Texas toast. The other sandwich is brisket, salami, Havarti, bologna, ham, provolone, Swiss, pastrami, and Texas toast. Wow, sounds good. Now one of, the make, one of the things that makes this really unique here is I have nine custom sauces that I've created for my shop that will not be found anywhere else in the world. These guys today have selected two of my more popular sauces. The number one, which is the Sidewinder sauce, which is an avocado, blue guave, pomegranate mix. 
And the other one is the Stinger, which is a honey mustard horseradish mix. And all of my sauces are actually named after missile, so it's really cool. If you go to PatriotSandwichCompany.com, you can look at our menu and you can see everything for yourselves. If you get to the Denton area or Dallas area, make sure you come by and see us. Okay, and if you can't complete this, how much is it? It is $30. Okay. Now, if you win, you get a Patriot Sandwich Company t-shirt, you get your name on our wall, you get a full refund, and you get a commemorative Patriot Sandwich Company challenge coin. Oh, wow. Because if anybody knows anything about the military, challenge coins are very, very, very special to us. Because when we get a challenge coin, it means we've done something unique or very special and we're being recognized. Okay. So our challenge coins are very popular with us and they're really good for when you go to a bar because if you slap your challenge coin down, somebody's buying drinks. Oh, wow. Excellent. So, all right, we need to get this coin. All right, all right let me get out of the way and let you guys do your thing. We just need to restart our camera. So yes, the spicy meatball is we didn't go over this before, but uh, this is how the challenge is presented to you. But you're allowed to do whatever you want beforehand. So you're allowed to open up the chips, the granola bar, do whatever you want to the sandwich. You can't eat anything, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that. I'm going to open up my food. Hey, yeah. Here's your, here's your trash can, guys. Okay. Let's see what you see. You put it on your side. Yeah, I, I noticed that. It was, well, we it, <laughs> no, I'm just oh, messing with it. I'm just messing with He's teasing me. He's, gonna, he's probably going to beat me because I had a buffet this morning. Yeah, I just didn't really want to, I didn't want to walk you guys shot. All right, gentlemen. Okay, you're going to hear a beat first, but that's not the beat. That's just to cut this wow. on. And then you got your own, but, but we can. Um, one, two, three, go. Hey, Sonny. Martha. Hey, Taylor. Masoon, James. This is really good. <coughs> it is. Um, <coughs> what's the record now again? 20 minutes, 52 seconds. We're going to step by Randy Santel on October 27th. <coughs> Man, these are good challenges. I like the sauces definitely too.
and they are actually videotaping this as well, and this is going to go on their channels, which will actually help promote Patriot Sandwich Company a lot more. So we want to extend our gratitude to them for helping support the shop and you know, get us some additional publicity out there. They actually found out about the challenge from foodchallenge.com, which is Randy Santel's website that he puts out. So I want to thank Randy for putting us on his website and helping promote the shop as well. Brisket is good. Now, we'll first take it now. <laughs> when I say meat at you, that means it's good. This is a good looking one. Well, that's a good over here. I've got to be challenged. Mmm. Randy was pretty quick. No. Sauce is good. Troy B.O.B. has, he's on his last part of the sandwich. He's killing it. And does. The garbage disposal. The garbage disposal, that's right. So we've got Detroit BOB and Doug garbage disposal. That's DA. Yeah, BOB is throwing it down, but he's going to town. New record? I, I definitely, we've definitely got a new record. But the question is, how much? We're at 30 minutes, 8 seconds. 38 minutes, 8 seconds.
Yeah, that's good. Um, those are David's cookies, and we bake those. We I'm bake not a sweet fresh. guy, but these are good. We bake those fresh every couple of days. Mm. His was, was 932. 932? Oh. Five. I thought it was 929. We'll have to check out the video. Oh, go ahead. That, I well, thought it was 929. Oh, yeah, 929. Uh -huh. I'm going to, because when I put the timer in the video, I want it to sync up. Definitely a top. difference. Yeah. Bye bye. That was delicious. Oh my goodness. I think I like the brisket the best. But um, this was the stinger. Yeah. So the number six, excuse me, stinger was not that this was. Uh, the Sidewinder wasn't good, but number six is my preferred over Sidewinder. So six is the honey mustard horseradish called the Stinger. And now I'm going to attempt the uh, Patriot sauce while Brandon wraps up. This is supposed to be hot. So this one is a cherry pie filling with three teaspoons of capsicum, three teaspoons of a Trinidad scorpion sauce made from three different types of Trinidad scorpions, and three teaspoons of Carolina Reaper. All right. Oh, you definitely, the first thing you hit is the, the sweet cherry. There is so much sweetness on there. And then right underneath that, it's, it's building. You got the heat coming. Are you coming? Yeah, but at first, all you taste is sweet. It's 100% sweet. So the heat's coming, but it's not, it's not like knock yourself out where you're gonna die. But honestly, I can feel right here, partly because I just did this challenge, but the, the heat is already making my forehead sweat. So yeah, it, that's a little bit, it's a little bit bold. So if you like bold, spicy stuff, that's the way to go. But if not, you can't handle it. That, that would mess up your sandwich because that's uh, for people that like some heat. That's, that's three months of Three months of trial and error and prepping to get that sauce. Well, it worked. How are you doing over the garbage disposal? He's got this locked in. I think you're, you're, we got Randy double whooped today. Huh? We got Randy double whooped today. Yeah. I shouldn't have had that buffet this morning. I told you we were doing an eating challenges. Man, I forgot. This guy, K 
can't drive past the buffet without stopping and getting something. <laughs> hey, Texas has some amazing buffets. And sandwiches are good. <laughs> Albert, you're right. Albert goes, that sauce is not for the faint of heart. No, no. It, but it's not. Sometimes people just throw capsaicin in there, and then you're just, it's just, there's nothing. It's just fire with yeah. no flavor whatsoever. And I I like it because I always prefer a fruit on any kind of extreme heat sauce because it's a balance. It's not just fire. Exactly. And that's what I knew I needed to do. That's, I knew I needed to do that with the amount of peppers I was putting into it. Right. Okay. You want some of this? I actually did like, I like the potato salad too. Of all the stuff though, the granola bar surprisingly went down the quickest. Mm-hmm. Like that's, that's not, it's quicker than you think when you was eating it. I thought it was going to be a real issue. Well, kind of soft. Yeah, but I thought because of that molasses or whatever they used to hold it together, I thought it would be worse. Oh man, just let me down. See? Got a win we've done before. This is quite tasty too. Mm. I'm a big potato salad fan though, so. 30 minutes, 42 seconds. For this challenge, you can pick any chips you want. Uh, Brandon and I both just happen to pick Lay's potato chips, but there's there must be a 10, 12 over there you can pick from. So it's a pretty interesting challenge. While you have to eat the sandwich, you, you can, there's flexibility with the cookie, the granola bar, and the the bag of whatever type of chips you want. You can tailor tailor to, uh, to your liking. Yeah. All right, fifteen twenty-six. All right, gentlemen. So Woo. I want to thank you. I want to thank you guys and congratulate you guys on sinking the fleet out. All right. You guys have joined an elite class of only two other people, two other professional leaders actually who completed it. So that makes four champions, four people who sank the fleet out. So really quick. Introduce right. yourself with your winning time. Notorious Bob, nine minutes and twenty-nine seconds. And Brandon Clark, the garbage disposal at like uh, fifteen twenty six. Guys, congratulations! Those are going to be really hard times to beat. So. Oh goodness! Well, we <laughs> now you caught it. Here. Oh, it's good. What? Oh, uh, first coin I ever got at a challenge. Yeah. This. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. All right. Thank you. So, we'll, get, we'll get a close-up picture, but it says, I sank the Fleet Admiral's Challenge. How cool is this? Oh. Patriot Sandwich Company in the back. Guys, if you are in this area, so this is, is this officially Denton? Yes. I'm sorry. So if you guys are ever in the Denton area, must try place. It is uh, veteran-owned, and you can see the veteran love as well. They take this very seriously. And we've seen their customer service, not just with us, with other people here, and the store's even closed. So this is an incredible place, incredible food. Please give this a try if you're in the Denton area. And another thing about my shop that a lot of people don't know is that this, the whole reason this shop was created was I also run, I'm co-founder and executive director of a charity that helps homeless veterans. Oh, okay. Because so. six years ago, I was a homeless veteran and almost committed suicide. Oh. So the homeless veteran issue is very important to me, and... It's something that I will fight for the rest of my life. Make sure I okay. help homeless veterans. The charity does not get government grants, funding, or anything like that. Okay. All the money we need to help people comes from private donations and fundraisers that we do. So I created this shop to help 
raise money for the charity. So once I get out of the red, uh, no. 10% of the profit from the shop will be going to charity to help homeless veterans right here in Denton, North Texas. Well, so you know, some people has actually uh, fund, funded uh, this trip a little bit. So I think we're going to use some of their money to help out you. So we're going to do that after the video. We don't want to do it all on video. Yeah. So. But that's, you know, that's another unique thing about this shop. It's, it's not just... It's not just paying respects to all of our branches of the military. Which my shop's like a little museum. Yeah. If you go to PatriotSandwichCompany.com, you'll be able to see it all. But the shop's a museum, and it helps give back to the community. And like when COVID-19 first hit, we were giving food out. We were giving food out to the healthcare workers who were battling COVID. So even though we were brand new shop and struggling ourselves, we still gave back to the community, which is something that we will always do. Yeah, that's incredible. We so appreciate it. We appreciate you guys helping get the word out there for us, getting our name out there, and giving us a chance to, you know, feed your family. Do you have a literature on your your charity? Uh, I or, do not have any more brochures, but okay. actually on the on the Patriot Sandwich Company website, you can link to it there is a link. Okay. To, I want well, to add the link. We'll link to in the description. To in the description, so people yeah. people can find out about it. So if you guys want to help help David out, please please go to the links in the descriptions and um, um, donate. Uh, you got Facebook like a. Uh, yeah. We got it's, it's called We Got Your Six all okay. spelled out, and the URL for the charity is W G Y the number six dot O R G. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Thank you. All so right. not only is it a charity, which of course any charity is fantastic if people do this, but David's helping people that was in it. He was in their spot six years ago. So this is obviously very close to his heart. And uh, please check it out. And if you're in a position to, to help him out. Yeah, because he did open up like, right, what, yeah. one month so, before COVID? Yeah. So see, that took a hard hit right there. That's a rough time. See, we have these two gentlemen who just won the challenge. Can't thank them enough. They came all the way here from Philadelphia. Me Memphis and Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. So. Traveling guys are traveling. They were just in. We were in Memphis last night, and we drove through the night yep. to get here. We heard it was so good. We had it. We couldn't wait. Yeah. Got people coming from across the country to see us. <coughs> Got to be doing something right. Absolutely. These guys are on their way to Plano next, so I want to wish them good luck on their next challenge. But I hope my I hope mine ruin them with the next challenge. <laughs> but guys, I want to thank you so much for coming out today. Oh, thank you. And you know, we really appreciate you giving us the opportunity to, you know, show you what our shop is all about. We appreciate you helping support the shop. It really means a lot. And you know, hopefully the people watching you guys at home will decide they want to come out and visit us too. Guys, it's Sunday. I know you guys got better things to do than look at my empty mug, but. On behalf of the Patriot Sandwich Company, we've got your six and myself. Thanks, man. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visited my website yet, um, the, the address is www.DougGarbageDisposalStore.com. You can navigate through the top, all these links right here. Um, there is actually a question and comment form. If you have any questions or comments, uh, fill that out, and it'll go straight to my email. At the very bottom, there is a free newsletter. Just sign up for right here, um, and you will get a weekly newsletter. So, uh if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos. Please comment. I like to um, listen to your comments uh, and respond to you. So I do like to interact with you guys. Uh, please share the video with your friends, family, even your boss. And have a great day. Let's meet other plans.